midnight does the impossible. With ceiling zero, he brings his plane to safety through the fog and goes into action against a nationwide crime ring. But when inventor John Edwards is kidnapped, Midnight tries to rescue him with disastrous consequences. Gatto! Get him out of here! We can't afford to lose We'd all be dead pigeons. Yes, and I bet the boss will give us a bonus when we tell him his old enemy, Captain Midnight, is finished. Yeah, we'll stop off at hideout number 12 and notify him. Take the wheel, Gardo. Right. understand why I don't get a report. Maybe this is it. Come in, S1. Important. Come in, S1. S1 ready. Go ahead, number seven. Destroyed objective successfully. Operators in car with Edwards a prisoner heading toward hideout as planned. Well done, Martel. Your report is very gratifying. I haven't finished. Captain Midnight's on the back of their car. Now take them right to our hiding place. The fools, the idiots! Father, please. Quiet! Stop them! They will ruin all of us! Bomb them! Do anything but stop them! Do you understand? Okay, here I go. And now we're traveling in class. Number seven is acting as escort. Chief, I got news that'll knock you over. We've eliminated Captain Midnight. He went up with a hideout. Come in. Is that so? Well, listen to this, you fools, idiots. Captain Midnight is there with you now. You brought him in yourself on the back of your car. Get him or don't come back. But boss, boss. Well, you all heard him. Why, the boss is nuts. It couldn't be. That was why Martel was giving us the works. 
He was trying to warn us. Well, let's get out of here and find him. Tony, watch this guy. Come on, sit down. Scatter out and find him. No time to explain. Get to Major Steele's office and stay there under his protection. I'll hold him off while you make your escape. Hey, man! Come on, he's in here! I just escaped from a gang of cutthroats. I'm on my way to government headquarters to protect my invention. Well, that isn't a new one. But I will argue. Give me a driver's license. I don't get it. That's Edwards, all right. But where's the gang? He made a getaway at Dope, and the cop nabbed him for speeding. As soon as he turns him loose, we'll pick him up and head for number seven. You're lucky. If I didn't think you was crazy, I'd take you in. Thanks a lot, officer. Cargo. It's Slim and Spotter, and they got Edwards. How come? The other boys had him. I'll explain later. Now we must work on Edwards. I'll question him from my usual station. You stand by in case he gets impetuous. Have him brought in. All right, bring Mr. Edwards into the Sanctum Sanctorum. to my government. I'll do nothing to help you steal my invention. I warn you not to be hasty in making a decision. My methods of handling stubborn ones are not gentle, I assure you. You don't frighten me. If you kill me, my secret dies with me. Too bad. He'll talk. Yeah, but in our business, you must be ruthless to exist. Oh! Hello, Major. Hey, you're late, Captain. You had me worried. Discover anything worthwhile? Plenty. You know, we're dealing with a well-organized gang led by one called S-1. They have several hideouts, all equipped with up-to-date radios. Well, that's important. I'll put the staff to work with directional finders. We might run them down. No, but that'll take time, Major. You know, I'm sure Edwards could tell us plenty. I'd like to question him. So would I. Where is he? Why, he should be here. I got him away from the gang and told him to report here at once. Surely you can see it's useless. Decipher your blueprints for us. 
Don't let your exaggerated patriotism bring death upon you. I'll tell you nothing. Pardon me. Yes? Yes, speaking. The boys and me have got something mighty big for you. Spell it, and it better be good to offset your recent failure. Well, get a load of this. On the way back, we stopped off at Edward's house and cleaned it out. We found a full description and the location of Albright's hideout in Nevada. And best of all, Edward sent a model of the invention up there. That is big news, number eight. Take what men you need. Fly to Albright's place. Bring back that model. Capture or kill Albright or anyone who opposes you. I'll clear the plane for you. Right. Well, what's his reaction? Did he give us a couple of pats on the back? Plenty. Slick, you stay here. Boys, I'll tell you on the way out. We got a job to do. Get to the radio room. Give orders to clear a plane for number eight and his men. Hurry. Yes, sir. Surely you're not going through with this plan to kill Captain Albright. He has nothing to do with all this. He's merely my friend. That's his hard luck. He has what I want and is in my way. I can't sacrifice an innocent man. I'll tell you what you want to know. Now you're showing good judgment. Everything's checked. The plane will be ready for him. It doesn't matter much now. Edwards is seeing things my way. He's going to decipher his plans for us. That's well. Pay attention. You may have to work on them. All right, Edwards, start talking and talk plain. We'll check as you talk. Well, uh, the code of my plans is based on the dial of the telephone. I don't get it. The combination of numbers and letters. For instance, as you see, there are three letters to each number, starting with two. In the code, the first number tells which of the three letters to select. When a letter only appears, the corresponding number can be very easily determined. There you have the secret of all my plans. Hello? Well, Martel, do you get it? No, don't you? Look, start over again and slower. It's a little complicated. Well, the code to my plans, as I said, is based on the dial of the telephone. Dad! Dad! What's the matter? Can't you talk to me? Cancel that plane flying to Albright's ranch to destroy him, and I'll work for you day and night. It's too late to cancel it. Besides, I want that model of your invention. Now get on with your work. No, I refuse. Torture me if you will, but I won't do anything more to help you. Help! Help! Dad! Major, the only thing we can do is lay low and wait for them to make a break. Major Steele talking. I just heard from Father by phone. He couldn't talk directly, but I heard enough to know he's a prisoner and is being tortured to make him decipher his plans. They're sending men by plane to, to get Father's model from Captain Albright's Nevada home. Don't worry. They won't harm your father until they get that invention. I'll put the entire force to work. They'll find him. All right, stay close to your phone. Well, Albright, it's up to you to save that model. Finding Edwards is my part. They've got a head start on you, so you'll have to hurry. I'm betting my plane is faster than theirs. Now, uh, radio the ranch and put the boys on their guard. If I get the bricks, I'll bring back some of the gang with me, and maybe one of them will sing, and we'll get to the leader of this outfit. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. Get after Edwards. You think the captain would let us know how he come out on that Edwards business? <laughs> how can he when you keep taking the radio apart? <laughs> well, I wouldn't if it was working. Remember, the phone's out, too, and if the captain wanted us in a hurry, why, you'd be in tough love. There. Can't you hear that plane? Mm -hmm. You got a buzz in your head. Here, hand me that wrench. No. All right, landing field is over that hill. Well, there's a shortcut we can go through and surprise him. Well, what about the plane? Oh, it'll be all right. Come on. 
Albright calling A12. Albright calling A12. Come in, A12. Hurry up, Vicky. You're the most aggravating person I know. Well, it's all finished. All we got to do is install it here. Give me a hand. I'll do anything to get this thing done. Got that screw up over there. All right, right here. There it is. Good as new. Albright calling A12. Come in, A12. What did I tell you? It's the boss trying to get us. A12. A12 calling Captain Albright. Go ahead. Come in. Chuck. Hello, Chuck. Watch out for some men going to attack. Should be there by now. Protect Edward's final. Come in, A12. Some men are here now, Captain. Chuck. Chuck. Come in, A12. Come in, A-1-2. sure as you're born. Now, this is our chance to finish him. Morton, get that truck and keep from landing. Great. He won't land on that field. Come on, we can't watch him. We've got to locate that invention. Shark himself. Can this man's cruelty be stopped? Can the law prevent his crimes? He seems to have perfected his art, that of criminal disguise. Don't fail to see his villainous actions in the captured plane. Next week's revealing chapter of Captain Midnight.